time I try to leave, I'm right back again. Yeah, and I ain't going nowhere. You got me walking on the ceiling. Yeah. So when the times get down and the lights get all around, oh, I'll be the one to call. Oh, oh, oh. I'll tell them where we might go. It go. Oh. Every time you look up, baby, I'm right there. Crying in the air. So let all of your fears go. Oh, you know it's been the night. Low. Low. Oh, 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 Yeah, setting the vibes right, man. It's your, it's your neighborhood astrologer, the Hood Mystic, representing www.hoodmystic.com. Go a little light on real quick. Peace to y'all. Um, peace Rashida. Peace Prime. Peace, peace Nathan. Um. I don't know where Mama Mystic at. She doing some other things at the present moment. Um, so I want to kind of tap in and do like more of like a review, more like a catch up of the kind of lives that I've been doing lately. And then also how it all kind of ties into this new moon. I titled this video in specific the dark side of the law of the attraction, law of attraction, um, new moon in Capricorn or new moon in Sagittarius is just up to you, right? However you look at for the Western, it's in Capricorn and the Sidereal, it's in Sagittarius. When you look at it in the sky, it's not in either one of those. It's like in the middle and that's kind of where Saturn and Jupiter being in the middle of what we would consider Capricorn and Sagittarius. So within this, we have a ninth and 10th new moon. So when you reference the ninth house, when you reference the 10th house, that's big boy stuff. That's grown man energy. Now, in the mundane astrology world, they'll break it down into like traveling or doing something in relation to your career in the spiritual divine realm we would call that to channeling your higher self and understanding who you are from a past lifetime now the things that i say the interesting thing about me i say the same thing right? You are a spiritual being having a human experience, but I don't really honestly feel y'all understand it. And throughout this month, I was like, why ain't everybody jumping for joy? You know, singing their, singing its highest praises that we are all spiritual beings having a human ex experience. But I realized as a spiritual being having a human experience, it's a dark side to that. And the teaching or the elevation or the helping people understand this part of the spiritual being human experience is like, everybody has to understand because if you are not, if you are in alignment, right? You are in your law of attraction. You are in your vortex. You are manifesting at a high clip. 10 times out of 10, you love somebody, right? And the person that you love is using you to be their vortex, using you to be their law of attraction, 
using you to be their magnetizing force for all things well. And the law of attraction does not work like that. The difference between me and a lot of people is that I'm not sitting here talking about all of the shit I done. I done a lot of shit. I've, I've healed a lot of people, but you never talk, you never hear a surgeon talking about how he had to sew a piece of a person's ass together today at work. It just is what it is. This is, this is the line of work that I've chosen. And it's not even a line of work that I've chosen It's a line of work that has been revealed to me. So once again, I'm not here to talk about mundane astrology. I could care less about where you're traveling to. I could care less about what kind of career you have, right? That shit is beneath me. The reality of coming off of Scorpio, Venus coming out of Sidereo Scorpio, the moon coming out of Sidereo Scorpio, the thought is alchemy. And from alchemy, you find that actual purpose. And if you have a purpose, you align with your soul, you build your part, your purpose and your partner, the person that you love the most is not in that same alignment family. Oh, we, we got trouble in paradise. We got trouble in paradise. Okay. It's no way around it. I know a lot of us get on here and we say, I am spiritual. I am Hotep. Follow my channel. Spiritual this, spiritual that, divine this, divine that. Then you peer into their marriage life and it ain't all what it's cracked up to be. And trust me, I'm being 100% authentic with you to convey a 100% authentic message that you could apply in your life. The purpose is to come down here and co-create. But that has been a very difficult thing to do when you reference everything being everything. We have been caught up, bamboozled into the humanity. I've learned from this person. I've graduated from this school. I know this person, I live in this house, I drive this car, right? That the message that I'm coming with the new moon, because we're in a new moon energy, we're in a new moon phase. You cannot go into a new moon talking about all of the shit you did last year as a tree. Man, last summer, my leaves were so green. I had my leaves were so green that they didn't even fall off my tree this summer. This summer, man, I'm I'm trying to do something different, man. I'm trying to come with the green and, and glitter glitter leaves. Nigga, you gonna have the same old leaves that you've been having for the past millennia. Meaning that your energy is primal and is unchanging. The manifestations of it is what we're trying to tap into. And the manifestations of it is not our concern, is not our job, because our law of attraction is a default mechanism. Y'all, I love the planners. I love the organizers. I love working. I love the fact that y'all working with the moon. I love that. But that's just training wheels. Eventually, you won't need anything. You won't need to plan anything out. You would just need to observe and understand your energy. Oh, this is my shedding period. Oh, this is my growth period. Oh, this is my benefit period. Oh, this is my abundance period. Oh, this is where I have to do my um, alchemy. Oh, this is just the different parts and processes of my development that I watch and seek to um, observe it to unfold. I'm not sitting here talking about, all right, I'm going to manifest a thousand views on Instagram. I'm going get, to get this amount of money. I'm going to get this amount of money, <laughs> you know, and, and I'm going to plan it because I'm working with the new moon. See, y'all confused about this shit. I was 
I was watching this post on Instagram, man. This he said it so perfectly. I can't think of his name. He, I, if I think of his name, I, I I tag him or whatever. He said, "Y'all always worried about manifest when you already manifest." He said, "Y'all worried about manifesting when you already manifest." I said, "Law of attraction is your default mechanism." So a new moon. A new moon in Capricorn or a new moon in Sagittarius for the divin for the divine people, it is the time to connect with your higher self. Now it's a caveat to the shit. Not to say that everybody gotta be in alignment with the fact that I'm a law of attraction, but my wife definitely has to be in alignment with it, or it's just not going to work. So the work that I've been doing is to make sure that me and my wife fully are in sync with the reality that we are spiritual beings. This is very difficult because there are a lot of shadow shit for me and her. Because when you love somebody, the last thing you want to do is hurt them. The last thing you want to do is start an argument. The last thing you want to do is trigger them. But when you love yourself, that's the most important thing that you need to do. Because when it's not a stress, it's not a problem, it's not an issue, it's not drama, it's just a new idea that really well an old idea that applies to the now and the fact that i'm saying it it just sounds cool it sound cool it sounds very interesting and it's very provocative i'm a spiritual being having a human experience Ooh. Ooh. Good mystic on some deep stuff but no this is what you should be focused and dead set and locked in. It's no more planning and prognosticating who and what the fuck is about to happen or or this or that. This country is a big old country. This world is a big old world. And I know that you think that you are unimportant. And the reality might be, as a human being, that may be true. But the reality of doing this chakra work is in tuning with the non-physical part of myself, which is so large and so massive, that I understand why it can make a person uncomfortable that I'm just being me. Because it might seem like I'm doing something or I mean something or I'm trying to accomplish something. I'm really not. This moment that I'm sharing with you guys is a moment of love. With no expectations. And I don't want nothing to come from this. But your realization, deeper realization, that your life is a matter of unfoldment and observation. Not a matter of effort hard work, grit and grind, my nigga. You got a real live issue with that shit. You got a real live problem with the fact of you really feeling that the car is the most important part and not the driver. Y'all so fixated with the human body and the human relationships and the human emotions and the human education and the human training that who can reference some soul shit to me and not the movie with Jamie Foxx. If y'all mention that movie to me one more time, you know, we don't deal with Disney like that. Did, do your research. I got children. I really care about them. So I'm not going to have them watching that shit because it's some goddamn animation. Y'all think y'all soul is not for real. Y'all y'all will talk about a fucking movie, but won't talk about the reality that you're a spiritual 
being having a human existence for real like for real like 100 percent without a shadow of a doubt i guarantee you we can bet we can bet because you love your mama just like i love my mama right Your mama squoze you out just like my mama squoze me out. My mama nurtured me and cared for me. And here goes somebody I wasn't raised around my mama. Hey, you here today, somebody cared about your ass when you couldn't care about yourself. And that's the whole vibes. You know, it's people out here that have millions and millions of dollars that ain't help a soul. And it's people out here who make $20,000 a year and help mucho motherfuckers. What do you think this shit is about? Making money or taking care of people who can't take care of themselves? This is the world that we live in. So your natural modalities is what you're trying to figure out. Why? Why, hood? Why is I got to get to my natural modalities? Why can't I just have beefs and um, hold on to shit that I've been holding on to? I've been listening to In Vogue lately. Hold on. To your love Hold on to your love But my thing is A new moon, you're supposed to let everything go And you know me, I was born on a waning gibbous So I was born on a time just like this Right before the new moon Okay I know all about it. I was raised for this. <clears throat> Sorry, does this one work? Yes. Okay. The higher self. So we deal with. So the basic formulation for astrology is that of correspondence the harder let's say i got a light i'm looking at this light in front of me right like this um, i'm in this parking lot or whatever and you know how in the parking lot they got lights i'm corresponding to that light right now right which is cool i'm looking at that light and that light is looking at me however if i began to like build a ladder and, and climb to the top of the light post and open up the light thing and read what kind of bulb or maybe I can't climb up there and with a ladder, but maybe I can like Google, all right, Kroger parking lot light. Who installed the lights? What company installed the lights? Oh, such and such. Da, da, da. Maybe I find out some interesting facts about the fucking light company that will help me in my life somehow, right? Maybe. I don't know until I do the knowledge. That's more or less like astrology. It's inconsequential, but at the same time, this light is allowing me to see in this parking lot. You know, it's, it's giving me eyes when I don't necessarily have eyes. It's giving me a better perspective. So when we reference astrology, when we reference astrological science, or if you're an astrologer, that's because that person has studied based upon a personal correspondence and his language is very personal to his own. The problem with astrology, just like everything in relation to humanity, a person can feel as though he's a better speaker or his language is better but the reality of language is not a matter of better or worse. It's just a matter of, do you understand what I'm saying versus do you not understand what I'm saying? So I could kill you with astrologies. I just rather kick it to you like you're a real G. You understand what I'm saying? Cause that's how I see you. That's what I am. And you know, I'm in the space of reflecting real shit. I don't have to impress you with knowledge or confuse you with rhetoric and things of that nature. So, Everything that I kick in reference to astrology is more like a plain Jane conversation. But 
but that's not how it it don't, it don't have to necessarily be that way. I can make it very complicated, but I'm choosing not to. So the simplest way to understand a new moon in Capricorn, in Sagittarius, would be for you, you, you personally to connect with your higher self. Okay? That's that's the nuts and bolts of this shit. When you start getting into, oh, but I'm trying to get some sex tonight. Oh, but I'm trying to get some money. Oh, but I listened to this video and they said do this and I listened to that to do that. And I'm loving it, right? I don't give a fuck, right? The simplest way to understand this is to get in touch with your higher self. And the difficulties that arise when you do it is the dark side of the law of attraction. When there is God, there is the devil. Because we have a kill switch. We got two kill switches as human beings down here. One kill switch is free will. The second kill switch is love, right? That always fucks up our spiritual journey lifetime after lifetime. We come down here ready, full of experience, full of knowledge, full of wisdom. We start fucking, we start having babies and cancel Christmas. We start living for our children, living for our relationships, living for our family. And when it comes to our soul and our, and our, and our path and our love attraction, we put it to the side and we put our humanity up. Now, the the difference between then and now is that family don't necessarily matter as much. And if you are a high vibrating energy, you might have children that are not. You might have spouses that are not. You might have family members that are not. You might have close friends that are not. And this is where you begin your ministry. And this is where people that you love tell you to go to hell. And this is where you fucking fold. No more hotep, no more ashe, no more meditating because the person that you love is holding you the fuck back, period. The people that you love are holding you the fuck back. It is a singular arrow for a reason. It is a new moon in Sagittarius for the Sidereolites. In in a in an arrow, unless it's a whole bunch of arrows, right? Peep the science. Peep the messaging. We can attack, but we gotta be individual arrows out here. We got to be on the same track and the track is not a hard track to get on. The track is real simple. I'm a spiritual being having a human experience. It's a very simple statement, but the investment into humanity is great. You guys have put in 20 plus years into working for these people. I couldn't hang. The longest I've had a job family is three to four years and they and then something I just can't hang. We can't we can't do it. We can't get along. I sometimes worry about a retirement plan, but hey, I live for the day. I know y'all worry about your social security and things of that nature. And for that, for your fear and for your lack of security and for your investment in humanity, it requires you to work for them people. I do not have that burden. I'm free in my spiritual life to be an arrow. I don't have to check with nobody to say, hey, is it okay if I go to the mounds today? Hey, is it okay if I go into nature today? I might wake up tomorrow and go to Mackinac. I might wake up tomorrow and go to New Orleans. Right? Or if I don't, I don't. But your ancestors want you, listen, 
listen to this. This is if you get if you argue with me, if you disagree with me, just get off the fucking channel. Cuz I don't need this energy on the ch I don't need it. Not with everything I said, but this particular statement that I'm about to say. Your ancestors want you to be free. Your higher self wants you to be free. Your inner God wants you to be free. You are in the way because because you can't experientialize. I made that up and it felt good and I'm sticking with it. The fact that you are a spiritual being having a human experience because what? It creates jealousy. It creates backlash. It creates, well, who the fuck do you think you are? Do y'all know how many different past lives that I've been in contact with? Y'all would think I got a whole complex out here. But I'm like, I'm not even going to call it personalities. I'm going to just call it channels just to just to soothe people. Because this person is out here thinking that he's living in all of these different past lifetimes and shit. Well, I am. I'm a spiritual being having a human experience. Kyrie Anthony is just the car that I'm in this ride. I've been in many different rides and I have cognizance of it. Because I'm because I'm free. Listen, I don't I don't I don't have to clock in and clock out. And that's because of y'all. That's why people text me, people email me, people, you know, we talk for hours and things of that nature. Why you do that? Because shit, we free out here. I can't cap. I cannot cap. I got to keep it real. And, and, and the reality is that. It's all available for you. And all I can be is a beacon. And the beacon that I am is a beacon of imperfection because it's not easy to be free. It's not easy to be a spiritual being having a human experience because everybody around you, for some fucking reason, for some odd reason, I cannot. And the reason I'm repeating this because y'all be repeating this shit to me. So I'm just giving y'all the same energy y'all give me y'all 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 cannot let the humanity go so when you deal with a new moon you start to write down your intentions and you start to plan some shit out like it's all good to plan it's all good to intend but when that shit don't happen the way you plan it when it don't happen the way that you intend it you crickets you silent and you go back to the drawing board and you try to figure it out. But the reality is you don't, this is the reality. You, do, you don't have to plan. You don't have to sort it out. You don't have to intend. You don't have to wish. You don't have to want. You don't have to hope. You don't have to do anything. Your vortex is a moment to moment realization and higher vibration and a in a in a in the moon and the moon cycle is the re realization of a plant growing you never hear the plant say hey i wonder if i'm gonna grow i really do uh, you think the 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 plant the plant is praying or is the plant just simply aligning with the cycles of the moon I reference growth, man. I reference growth because anything the opposite of growth is decay. That's why every two weeks I'm talking about the full moon and I'm talking about the new moon because this is the natural alignment. It's a lot of things that I quote unquote manifest, but I don't manifest shit. <laughs> I am manifest. So when you, and, and I'm not saying I, I'm saying you. Anything that I say in reference to me is only in reference to you. And that's the hard thing about this work. Especially when ancestors give you things that everybody not talking about because everybody not here yet. 
and I can see myself 20 years from now. Here the hood mystic go. You a spiritual being. Say it again, hood mystic. You a spiritual being. Have a, it's going to be a catch line. It's going to be, it's going to be a cliche. Because niggas will never get it. <laughs> I can say it from now and forever. And y'all will not get it. I don't know why. It's lit. It's the most important thing that you'll ever do in this lifetime. You have an opportunity to not get in tune with your personal success. Oh, you made the bitches or the dudes from high school jealous. You finally proved it to them. Now go back to sleep. <laughs> the reality is that we're not here for judgment of what a person thinks or what a person doesn't think we're here to understand one thing and one thing only but experience it not hear it because hearing it is the same thing as you need to breathe if you're not actually breathing then that's a whole different vibration that you got to deal with it's the same matter of life or death move it into 2021 and 2022 we can take back so much power and so much ashe if we simply understand, unfold, and channel. Because the reality of a Venus conjunct the Milky Way is the, the, the deeper love that your ancestors have for you that is going to stimulate this new moon conjunct Pluto. A transformative new moon. So, what's the what's the ideology to a to a transformation? It's like a baby imagining that he's gonna know what he's gonna want when he's a teenager. So he sets up his plan for when he turns seventeen. So when you walk into your seventeen-year-old bedroom, you get all of the things that you thought you was gonna want. So you walk into some fucking building blocks. Fucking Osh Gosh Bagosh hoodies and shit. You can't even fit it. You you a grown ass man. You don't want that shit. That's why it's important to be present. Because the things that you want in the present are true. The things that you want in the future is not, you're not really sure you want that shit. You just think you want it. So the, the space, the reality of you being out of alignment is a fucking planner. That's the reality of it. Because you got to write the fact that, oh, when it's a new moon, I start to germinate my seed. Oh, when it's a new moon, I start to have my period. Let me journal that. No, your body's going to do that regardless of your simple ass. Okay? It's a, it's, a, it's a higher power to this shit that we're trying to attune to. That is the higher self. That is the new moon. To which I'm trying to give you some game. Now, if you dissect my words, you will come to the conclusion that don't this nigga got a planner that he be selling? <laughs> and I do. And I use it. But I realize the folly in it. And how I use it. I should be more observable than I am to try to control or to manipulate. Because to actually observe is the act of manipulating. What do I mean? To be present and to be clear. To be present and to be clear in the moment allows you to make the best decisions. Now, when you feel like shit... <laughs> And the present moment hits you when a major decision happens and you are the filter is I feel like shit. The decision and the movement and the makes that you make is going to be like, damn, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have moved like that. However, when you are observing this shit from a higher self perspective, because you are the higher self. Let's be clear. That's the whole point of the astrological of the medicine wheel like so in native america they got the medicine wheel in western 
Western theosophy, they have the astrological chart, right? What are we referencing here? We're referencing wholeness. We're referencing the human and the, 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 the higher self being the same entity. But the human being unaware of this fact that, trust me, is under 10 people on this live. So the reality of the majority of people getting it is not a thing that's ever going to fucking happen. That's why this whole shit is a big joke. This whole shit is a big game. You have way more control over your life if you just simply let go and be clear and present in the moment. And when you're trying to sleep, when you're trying to understand, you connect to your higher self. That is the message of a Capricornian new moon or a Sagittarian new moon for my sidereal-ists. Very simple stuff. Your power is in letting go of your humanity. As simple as it may sound, as odd as it may sound, it's probably going to be the most difficult shit that you ever would do because you're so invested in your insanity. You're so invested in your shyness. You're so invested in your shadow. You're so invested in your grief. You're so invested in your sadness that the reality of your law of attraction being the default mechanism, you can't even fucking believe it. You don't even believe it. But if what I'm saying is resonating with you, then the reality is you need to let go of your sadness. You need to let go of your desperation. You need to let go of your planning. You need to let go of your ambitions. You need to let go of your goals. You need to find your soul. And once you find your soul, when you find your, when you connect to your higher self, you begin a process of unfolding. And every day you are trying to find that thing that makes you feel great. For a lot of us, it's as simple as cleaning up that nasty ass room, right? Cleaning out that nasty ass car, cleaning out that sacred space. How have you not given your ancestors a fresh cup of water? Huh? You, you, you got how many subscribers, but your ancestors is dying of thirst? Huh? You got how much money in your bank account, but your ancestors is dying of thirst? Huh? Make that make sense. Have you had a conversation with your higher self today? Have you talked to your guardian angels today? Did y'all map out a plan in the astros? Because they have a better position than you. It's a team effort. If people call you crazy, they better not call you broke because you are whole out here in these streets you are living a life of freedom because your ancestors busted their ass so you could be free and all you do is fixate on non-linear binary false information that is purposely tricking you out of your natural default mechanism, which is law of attraction. So certain things you have to just understand about your soul. Even when you manifest something, your soul could have probably manifested you something 10 times greater. So that little shit that you manifested that got you happy, that you're now rid of, that you're trying to get again. They say that's like... um. I ain't never smoked crack, but the junkie used to tell me, like, you know, they don't even get high off crack no more. And so you ask them, like, why do y'all, why do y'all smoke crack? They always reference that first time that they got high. And they're chasing that high. And I said, man, that's, a, that's everything. That's what everybody do. They chase that first time experience and they running in circles, running in loops, but not the good one. Not the natural one. See, this loop that you running in is like in a lab. It's going to tire you out. The loop that we reference in is the natural loop of cycles of rebirth and resurrection. 
to which the darkest times are upon us. But when we reference our natural mobility of growth, our darkest times are our most powerful times, our most vulnerable times. It is our weakest times, but these are the times that we germinate. Another, another, another analogy would be that of a butterfly that is escaping its cocoon. So the butterfly is your soul. The plant is your soul. The seed is your humanity. Both things are true, but one requires trauma, darkness, and water to manifest. It needs light, knowledge, wisdom, nurturing, protection to manifest. Us being seeds, we can't imagine that we'll be a beautiful lotus flower one day. I know it's hard to imagine. But motherfucking lotus flowers be manifesting from seeds every fucking day by the millions. Butterflies, caterpillars and butterflies share the same DNA, but live two completely different lives. So the reality that you are a spiritual being having a human existence is the same as that. Your ability to tap into one or the other is your fucking choice. Do I care one way or the other? Absolutely not. Because I never seen a butterfly giving fucking caterpillars pep talks. So the reality of my conversation is, okay, this is for 10 people, right? This is for the 1%. This ain't for everybody. Some people love being caterpillars. Some people love not tapping into their higher self. They imagine that their higher self is somewhere in the Vatican somewhere or some shit. You understand? Cesar Borgia or some shit like that is their higher self. And I just let them have it. But for you, your ability to sit with yourself and stop wishing and wanting and hoping and, oh, why does this bad thing happen to me? I'm a bad person, something bad. I don't uh, boohoo me. You got kids and more shit. It's time to tap into your higher self and allow yourself to unfold. Let shit be. Let shit, let shit, let shit manifest. Allow the darkness to allow you to be what you are to grow to. It's time to tap into something that's very abstract and very sublime. And the thoughts that are going into your mind are like, yap, 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 talk, 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 nothing, 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 blah, blah, blah. You got to shut that shit down. Because the soul is whispering to you. The soul is talking to you. The soul is giving you that, that real shit. And I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. Because ain't nobody else going to do it. And you know this to be a fact. And everybody else around you going to look at you. And, and they ain't never going to say. You did a good job. <laughs> They never go. Ain't no Nobel Peace Awards for a person that channeled their higher self or connected to their higher self. But there is an inner peace award. And that's what I offer y'all today. OK, so be sure to check the links in my bio. Check the links in the description. I appreciate you tapping in thus far. This message was from the heart and very centered in a specific with a specific point that was for a specific person that is really confused about what, who, and what they are. And I'm just the space holder in the daily reminder that you are a spiritual being having a human experience. Peace, everyone.